Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to 2016 and this is my first video. I'm going to be showing you a stamping tutorial of um, some nails that I had last week. And the base color I'm using is from Lahi London called Just Dance. Beautiful color that shifts from a burgundy to like a coppery bronzish color. The camera is not doing it justice. It is a beautiful nail polish. Um, the stamping polish I'm going to use is Black Knight from Molly London really bad really pigmented next would be the top coat I'm going to be using from Nikki K which is just a fast dry top coat and the matte top coat is going to be from Essie now I'm showing you three nail pops that I'm going to show you the different designs on but I actually ended up using four and this is just a close-up of the polish the, the camera just doesn't do justice to it it is so beautiful absolutely gorgeous now because your nails um, are actually gonna have like a color to it I put three coats on clear nail pops obviously because to get the, the coverage that I wanted I could have gone up to at least five to get it fully fully opaque but the choice is really yours how you want to do it I'm just gonna show you the first coat and then I'm going to top coat I'm gonna top coat two with the shiny fast dry and two with the matte I'm going to do this because the polish has a bit of a grit to it, obviously because it has some um, glitter in it. So the, the, the top dry, the top coat, sorry, is just going to form a nice uh, smooth layer on top of it. And now that is just a comparison of the shiny on the bottom and the matte on the top. This is the plate I'm going to be using. It's from Bundle Monster and it's a beautiful kind of floral design and I'm just going to be using a Born Pretty stamper and scraper and the scraper, sorry the stamper is a little bit squishy. So we just put one swipe of polish, we do a nice firm scrape, very light rolling motion and it picks up perfectly. I'm going to take up the nail pot and position it where I want it to be and this is something that you have to do pretty quickly before the stamp dries and you can see how squishy the stamper is it really conforms to the shape of the nail and you have a perfect 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 stamp it is so beautiful I'm just going to clean up the edges and make sure they're stuck and that's the first one see how clean that image is and to clean up the stamper you just get a lint roller and take off the excess polish so we're gonna go again one swipe of polish an even scrape with the scraper light even pressure in a rolling motion with the stamper and I'm going to position my nail and have that leaf in the center closer to the cuticle and I just try, I was trying to turn the stamper so you could see how soft it is. And then I'm just gonna <laughs> make sure the ends are stuck down. Now when you're gonna top coat these guys, you have to make sure you have a generous amount of polish on your brush. Because if it's that you use it streaky or the brush dry, you're gonna find that your your design is going to smear you definitely do not want that so that's this shiny top coat which i love that one that one looked beautiful but i kind of like the matte a little bit more the matte to me had just a little bit more character and i just it was my favorite it was my absolute absolute favorite so guys i'm just going to show you a reveal shot and i'm hoping that you enjoyed this video it's my first time stamping on camera um, I'm going to show you the plain nail polish with shiny top coat, matte top coat, stamping with shiny top coat and the other one with the matte. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.